Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to study very 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 basic thing. We all know there are total six types of triangle. Three triangles are based on sides, and three are the triangles based on angles. Today in this video, we are going to learn and study triangles based on angles. That means there are total three triangles, three types of triangles. First is acute angle triangle, second is right angle triangle, and third is obtuse angle triangle. These are the three types of triangle based on their angles. Now, we all know in a triangle there are total three sides. So if you observe over here, I have drawn all three types, and in each of this triangle we have total three sides. If you observe in triangle ABC, we have three sides AB, BC, and AC. Now, what we need to learn in this video is very very important thing that is how to select base and height of a of a triangle of a particular triangle. Now, see, observe here. Very very important thing you need to remember is height is always perpendicular. As you all know that altitude or height is always perpendicular. So remember, whenever you select any height, it should be perpendicular. See, now observe here. Here in this triangle ABC. You can take any side as the base. It is up to you. You can take any any one of this side as the base, and base is never perpendicular. Only height is perpendicular. So if you observe in triangle ABC, if I take base as BC, height will start from its its opposite vertex. Remember, this is very important thing. Whenever you select any side as base, height its height always start from its opposite vertex. So if I consider BC as the base. Its height will start from its opposite vertex, and opposite vertex of BC is A. So from A, we'll draw one perpendicular, and let's name it as D. So here AD is nothing but height of this base BC. So BC is the base, and its corresponding height is AD. Corresponding means uska jodi dar. So yaad rakhna whenever you select a base. Its height always start from its opposite vertex. Now you have to tell me this. See, suppose I consider AC as base. So think and tell me if I take AC as base, its height will start from which vertex? Opposite vertex. See, observe here. So very good, superb. Opposite vertex of AC is B. So its height will start from B. Let's name it as E. So here, base is AC. And corresponding height is BE. Very good, superb. Now we have one more side left. If you observe AB, its height will start from its opposite vertex C. So let's name it as F. And here CF is nothing but height whose corresponding base is AB. Or you can say we have base as AB and its corresponding height is CF. Now this was very simple, isn't it? So we have three bases and we got three corresponding height. Now let's Complicate it a bit. Let's try this in a right angle triangle. In right angle triangle, if you observe, we already have a perpendicular. So here, if we consider QR as base, if I take QR as base, its height will start from which vertex? Very good, superb. Its opposite vertex P. Now, if you observe, we already have a perpendicular over here from P. So in a right angle triangle, you don't need to draw an extra height for this base QR because we already have a perpendicular. So for this base QR, height will be PQ. Very good, super. Now observe here. If I take base as PQ, if I take base as PQ, its corresponding height will start from its opposite vertex. The opposite vertex is R. So if you observe from R, we already have a perpendicular. So no need to draw one more perpendicular. We already have it. So for base PQ, its height will be RQ. Very good, or QR. Very good, super. Now last side PR. See, observe PR. If you observe PR, its opposite vertex is very good, super Q. So its height will start from Q. And if you observe, there is no perpendicular drawn. So let's draw one perpendicular. If I name it as M. So over here for this base PR, height is its corresponding height is QM. I hope everyone is clear till here. So we saw how to draw base and height in right angle triangle. We saw how to draw base and height in acute angle triangle. Let's move ahead and observe for obtuse angle triangle. Let's let's complicate it a bit more. See if you observe here. If I take base as yz, yz. See observe here. If I take base base as yz. 
so the height will start from its opposite vertex its opposite vertex is x so i need to draw a perpendicular from x so if i draw a perpendicular from x ye to bahar aa gaya so what we need to do is we need to extend this base so in obtuse angle triangle always remember in obtuse angle triangle you need to extend the base and its height will start from its opposite vertex so here we have xm so for base yz for base yz we have height as xn very good super now let's take any other base if you observe if i take base as xz if i take base as xz its opposite vertex for this triangle xyz is y so its height will start from y and over here if i name it as n so for this base xz height will be yn very good super now again observe here see if you observe you have one more side left x y so let's consider that as base x y as base now if you observe we need to draw height of x y x y ka opposite vertex is z now again if you observe if we draw perpendicular from z it will come in exterior of the triangle that means you need to extend the base and you get your height so if i name it as l so for this base x y height will be z l so remember here very important thing in obtuse angle triangle we have two bases that you need to extend to get your corresponding height one base is as it is the obtuse angle which is already drawn over here obtuse angle ke samne wala base will be inside the triangle height will be inside the triangle and for other two bases you need to draw height for that you need to extend that base in obtuse angle triangle so remember very important very 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 important thing there are three condition when heights of triangles are equal so if you have two triangles in which there are two heights two different heights in two triangles and the height is given already given suppose we have triangle abc whose height is 5 cm we have triangle pqr whose height is 5 cm in this case height is equal second condition when triangle lies between two parallel lines so whenever we have two triangles which are lying in between two parallel lines heights are considered to be equal and third condition whenever we have two triangle whose one of the vertex is common so whenever we have two triangle whose one vertex is common and their bases lie on a straight line remember see this is very important so i will repeat one more time whenever we have two triangles whose bases lie on a straight line and they have a common vertex so remember these two things first there should be a common vertex of two triangles and their bases should lie on a straight line in such a case height of triangles are equal i hope you understood this video make sure before going you subscribe like and share with all your friends we'll meet in next video tab tak take care goodbye bye bye